Governor Pat McCrory is touring Columbus County today to get a first-hand look at the damage caused by Hurricane Matthew last weekend. WWAY's Taylor Yakowenko is in Whiteville, where the governor held a news conference this afternoon. She joins us live with more. Taylor. Daniel McCrory says it will definitely take North Carolina some time to heal after the impacts of Hurricane Matthew and the subsequent flooding the storm caused across the state. Today, McCrory says times like these are when hometown heroes step up and reach out to help their neighbors when they need it the most. He says he has seen examples across the state and is so proud of the work everyone is doing to help people return to their homes and their lives. He encourages areas that have dried out to reach out and help those who haven't. The sad news about this hurricane, it's really impacted the people who could least afford to be impacted. We have people who have lost everything. And uh, we, together as a team here in Columbus County and Whiteville, we're going to do everything we can to help Fair Bluff. McCurry continues to stress the dangers of water and flooding at this time. He says the majority of deaths from Matthew have come from floodwaters, and he urges everyone to stay off roads with water on them and to not risk their lives. And McCurry even said after this, he plans to ask the federal government to change the classification of hurricanes to include more dangers from water because flooding is what's killing people in this storm. Live in Whiteville, Taylor Yakowenko. WWAY News Channel 3. Daniel, back to you in the studio. All right, thank you, Taylor.